Hello, this is Dakarazu, and we have a geometry questions here, a geometry uh, question dealing with uh, the circle, the circle, and uh, we're going to go and read the question. In the figure below, if AO and BC bisect each other, and the diameter of the circle is 4 feet, what is in feet the length? Of BC. Now they tell us here that O is the center of the circle, it's important, and A and A, B and C are on the circle, okay, on the circle. So we are asked to find this length BC. Okay, what I can tell you here is that most of the time when you're dealing with a circle, you need to be proactive. You need to be drawing figures. You need to be drawing maybe a rectangle, maybe a triangle, a square, whatever. Because if you only look at it and try to figure out, you know, what the solution uh, is, it's going to be very difficult to find it if you have no picture of it. So the key here is to figure out how we can uh, leverage uh, properties of the triangle, uh, properties maybe of the rectangle, of the square. So that's my best advice to you, is to be proactive and start drawing something that could be useful, that could be helpful, okay? So you've got to ask yourself, BC, how can we actually get BC? Maybe we cannot get BC directly, but possibly we can get it indirectly. Okay? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to be uh, drawing uh, maybe the radius. We know that this particular length here is 4. So if I connect maybe O and C here, we get the radius of the circle. We get, since the, the diameter is equal to, I don't know if the blue is good here, but I'm going to draw first and after I'm going to use uh, maybe the white ink. But OC here, we should agree, is 2. Because the diameter of the circle is 4, so the radius is 2. But also, AO is 2. Let me actually switch to the white color here. What I'm saying is uh, the diameter of the circle, let's erase this, is equal to 2. So the radius of the circle is equal to, actually the diameter, sorry, is equal to 4 here. The radius of the circle is equal to 2. Okay? Therefore, a O, which is really, the, we go from the center to the edge, so A O is equal to O C is equal to also 2. Okay? Now, what we need to understand here is that most of the triangle we are dealing with on the GMAT are special triangle. What I mean by that, a triangle that is extremely well known, like maybe the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, the 3, 4, 5 triangle, an equilateral triangle, an isosceles triangle, all of that. If not, we have a right triangle, a right triangle that is governed by uh, the Pythagorean theorem. And I'm sure that you guys are familiar with the Pythagorean theorem. So that's what I'm going to be looking for here. I have OC here, I have AO, which are equal. So, let's see if we can figure out something else. Remember, our goal here is to find BC. Maybe, again, as I said earlier, we may not be able to find it directly, but indirectly. What I can do here is maybe I could draw OB, but then I would lose maybe the, fact the, uh, the right triangle property. So, what I would do instead maybe to consider... Uh, this. Let me again change color. Let's use maybe a black color here. 
let's consider this let me see let me make sure i get the black color okay so let's consider this and let's call this maybe h i'm sure you'll agree that since they say that a o and b c bisect each other what it means is this h here is the midpoint of a o is also the midpoint of bc that's what it means to bisect each other it goes through the middle okay so you would agree that h o again i need to change uh, color you need to agree that h o is equal to one because it's the midpoint h is the midpoint so it's half of two it's one okay so we're gonna put uh, again we're gonna keep changing color one here let's just sorry about that one this is one this length for oh one now if you're familiar with a special triangle you should know that this is a, a case of the 30 60 90 degree that's when you have two in the hypotenuse and you have one uh, as a value of one of the legs then automatically the third leg i mean the the the, the longer leg here is going to be equal to root three if you're not uh, familiar with uh, the special triangles what i recommend you do is use the pythagorean theorem all you have to do is say that one and call this x one plus x square equal two square if you want you could put one by writing again uh, using white you could say that one plus x square equal two square and you're gonna find that x is equal to root three and obviously this is x here you don't know but if you're familiar again with the special triangles which you should be familiar with those triangle because uh, they are everywhere on the GMAT so then you'll understand that this has to be root three okay we're almost there now because this is root three okay then you should agree because h is the midpoint of bc this should also be root 3 again because of what they said here bisect each other this is important bisect each other okay that's allow me to say that h is the midpoint of bc and the midpoint of ao as well okay remember here we have a right angle here okay so remember that it's done we have solved the question from what we did we can see that BC is just the double if you want it's BH plus HC so this is equal to root 3 plus root 3 and this goes to root 3 and the answer is B B is a correct answer okay again at first this question seems to be difficult we don't know exactly how to go about it but the way to go about it is to be proactive as I said is to jot down to, to, to draw some figures, usually a triangle, a rectangle, you know, uh, a, a square, whatever. And once you start doing that, you start seeing things you didn't see before. And that is the way to go about it. And here we dealt with a special triangle to solve the question. And we also dealt with uh, the concept of, you know, uh, of a bisector. Okay? So, so next time you see this type of question, don't panic. Just do what I just did here. Draw things and see if you can find a special triangle. Or at least a right triangle. And that way you can use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. Dakar Azu here.